Cholesterol often gets a bad rap, but it's crucial for our bodies. Without cholesterol, our cells wouldn't function properly. It travels through our bloodstream in packages called lipoproteins. There are two main types, HDL and LDL. Each plays a different role. HDL is the good cholesterol. It helps keep our arteries clear. LDL is the bad cholesterol. It can be harmful if not managed. Too much LDL can build up in our arteries, forming plaque. This buildup narrows the arteries, increasing the risk of heart attack or stroke. Our diet plays a significant role in our cholesterol levels. Foods high in saturated and trans fats are major culprits behind high LDL cholesterol. Saturated fats found in fatty meats, full-fat dairy products, and some tropical oils can increase LDL cholesterol production in the liver. Trans fats, often found in processed foods and some margarines, not only raise LDL but also lower HDL cholesterol. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that replacing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats, found in foods like walnuts, flax seeds, and fatty fish, led to significant reductions in LDL cholesterol levels. Limiting dietary cholesterol found in animal products is also important. While dietary cholesterol doesn't impact everyone the same way, those who are genetically predisposed to high cholesterol may experience a greater increase in LDL levels from consuming high cholesterol foods. While diet is a major contributor to high cholesterol, other factors can also play a role. Genetics, for instance, can influence how our bodies process cholesterol. Some individuals inherit genes that cause them to produce or absorb more cholesterol than others. Age and gender also come into play. As we age, our cholesterol levels tend to rise. Before menopause, women often have lower total and LDL cholesterol levels than men of the same age. However, after menopause, a woman's LDL cholesterol levels tend to increase. Medical conditions such as diabetes, hypothyroidism, and kidney disease can also affect cholesterol levels. Certain medications like some diuretics and beta blockers may also have an impact. Understanding your cholesterol numbers is essential for assessing your risk of heart disease. Knowing these numbers can help you and your healthcare provider make informed decisions about your health. A lipid panel measures your total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides. This test is crucial for getting a comprehensive picture of your cardiovascular health. For adults, the following are general guidelines for cholesterol levels. Total cholesterol, less than 200 mg per deciliter is desirable. 200 to 239 mg per deciliter is borderline high. 240 mg per deciliter and above is high. LDL cholesterol, less than 100 mg per deciliter is optimal. 100 to 129 mg per deciliter is near optimal. 130 to 159 milligrams per deciliter is borderline high. 160 to 189 milligrams per deciliter is high. 190 milligrams per deciliter and above is very high. HDL cholesterol, 60 milligrams per deciliter and above is considered protective. Less than 40 milligrams per deciliter for men and less than 50 milligrams per deciliter for women is a major risk factor for heart disease. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice and treatment plans. When high cholesterol turns silent, recognizing the risks. High cholesterol is often called a silent killer because it typically doesn't cause any symptoms. Many people are unaware of their high cholesterol levels until they experience a heart attack or stroke. Over time, high cholesterol can lead to atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque in the arteries. This buildup can narrow the arteries, reducing blood flow to the heart, brain, and other vital organs. If a blood clot forms in a narrowed artery, it can completely block blood flow, leading to a heart attack or stroke. High cholesterol also increases the risk of peripheral artery disease, a condition that affects blood flow to the legs and feet. Taking Charge Lifestyle Changes to Lower Cholesterol the good news is that lifestyle changes can significantly impact your cholesterol levels, making a real difference in your overall heart health. One of the most effective ways to lower LDL cholesterol is through diet, 
which involves making mindful choices about what you eat every day. Focus on reducing saturated and trans fats, choose lean meats, poultry without skin, and low-fat dairy products. These small changes can have a big impact. Limit processed foods, fried foods, and baked goods. Opt for whole unprocessed foods whenever possible to support your heart health. Increasing soluble fiber Soluble fiber found in oats, beans, lentils, and fruits like apples and pears can help lower LDL cholesterol by binding to it in the digestive tract and preventing absorption. Incorporate these foods into your daily meals. Adding omega-3 fatty acids Omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish like salmon, tuna, and mackerel, as well as walnuts and flax seeds, can help raise HDL cholesterol and lower triglycerides. Including these in your diet can be beneficial. In addition to diet, regular physical activity is crucial for managing cholesterol levels. Exercise plays a vital role in maintaining a healthy heart. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity exercise most days of the week. This can include activities like brisk walking, cycling, or even dancing. Exercise can help raise HDL cholesterol and lower LDL cholesterol. Incorporate a variety of physical activities to keep it enjoyable and effective. Beyond the Plate Additional Measures for Cholesterol Control While lifestyle changes are the cornerstone of cholesterol management, medication may be necessary for some individuals. Statins are the most common type of cholesterol-lowering medication. They work by blocking an enzyme the liver needs to make cholesterol. Other medications such as bile acid sequestrants, cholesterol absorption inhibitors, and PCSK9 inhibitors may also be used. Your doctor will determine the best course of treatment based on your individual risk factors and health history. It's important to remember that medication is not a substitute for healthy lifestyle habits. Even if you're taking medication, maintaining a healthy diet and engaging in regular exercise are essential for managing cholesterol and reducing your risk of heart disease. Your heart's best friend. Embracing a heart-healthy lifestyle. Taking control of your cholesterol is a journey, not a destination. By adopting heart-healthy habits, you can lower your risk of heart disease and live a longer, healthier life. Remember these key points. Know your numbers. Get regular cholesterol checks and discuss your results with your doctor. Make healthy food choices. Limit saturated and trans fats. Increase soluble fiber and include omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. Get moving. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity exercise most days of the week. Take your medications as prescribed. If you're prescribed medication, take it as directed by your doctor. Be patient and persistent. Lifestyle changes take time to make a difference. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results immediately. Your heart will thank you for it.